Flag is raised. They're off. In one of the highlights of the racing calendar, the Paddy Power Irish Gold Cup. Short run to the first of 17 fences, and it's Statler and Kemboy emerging together, followed by the big dog on the inside, red hot favorite, Galapin Deschamps. Out wide is Fury Road. And he's second now, and Franco de Port, the final couple, as they jump their first ditch. Again, all safely over. In the lead is Kemboy. Always a danger around here is the 2021 winner. Heads towards the third under Rachel Blackmore. Leading Statler, Patrick Mullins, then the big dog, Keith Dunhill on the inside in the quartered colors, Galapin Deschamps, Paul Townend, then Fury Road, Davy Russell. And he's second now, Mark Walsh, Franco de Port, and Danny Mullins, as they complete their jumping in the back straight. Heading on away from fence number four. Order pretty much unchanged. It's Kemboy the leader from Statler. Fury Road's made up ground on the outside of the big dog. On the inside is Galapin Deschamps with two and a half lengths back to the final couple. Franco de Port, Nanny second now. As they go away from their second ditch. To the fence on the approach to the straight, number six this time, as they stack up. Kemboy Statler followed by Fury Road, the big dog, having a good season and valuable. Staying handicaps, took it in fourth, then Galapin Deschamps, and he's second now in Franco de Port. On the turn into the straight to fence number seven, and the final fence next time round, it is Kemboy Statler swings in wide. It was followed by the big dog in between Fury Road and Galapin Deschamps. Unbeaten over Leopardstown fences is two behind. Any second now and Franco de Port. Final fence in the circuit's time. Kemboy pops it with an advantage of a length and a half to two legs over Statler than the big dog. Galapin Deschamps towards the inside on the stand side Fury Road. Very much in touch both Franco de Port and he's second now, placed in two Grand Nationals from first to last. There'd be just over five lengths. Circuit to race, 10 fences left to jump. And it's Kemboy and Statler continuing first and second. The big dog has never been too far away. And then Fury Road, Galapin Deschamps on the inside. It's followed by any second now. And Franco de Port. On to fence number eight, bringing them Towards the halfway stage. Kemboy the leader from Statler, the big dog. Galapin Deschamps on the inside. Then Fury Road, any second now, and Franco de Port as they approach fence number nine. Statler jumped on in front, heads Kemboy, who led them out over the first eight fences. Then Fury Road, the big dog. Galapin Deschamps. Brilliant winner of the John Durkin on reappearance is two behind any second now, and Franco de Port. Heading towards the final 10 furlongs, eight fences left to jump. And the grade one Paddy Power Irish Gold Cup, and it's Statler and Kemboy followed by the big dog. On the outside, Fury Road, followed by Galapin Deschamps, who's getting a good trip on the inside, and then any second now, and Franco de Port as they return to their point of departure. Seven fences left to jump. Nine furlongs to go from here. Statler, Patrick Mullins on the outside of Kemboy and Rachel Blackmore. The two a bit apart, and then the big dog and Keith Donahue. Made a slight mistake, then Fury Road. Gone up on the outside for Davy Russell, followed by Galapin de Jean-Paul Townend. And he's second now at the back marker of the leading group, Mark Walsh. And a few lengths back to Franco de Port and Danny Mullins. The fence right across from the stand, seven furlongs to go. And it's Statler, Kemboy, gone up in between them as the big dog, followed by Fury Road, Galapin Deschamps. Has moved away from the inside, and then comes any second now, and Franco de Port. Fifth last fence, three quarters of a mile from the finish, and there was four in the air together. Kemboy, the big dog, Statler, and Fury Road. Tracked by Galapin Deschamps, any second now, and Franco de Port. For the jump, last on the bag. Kemboy on the inside, landed the fractional leader. 
from Fury Road. The big dog and Statler, this quartet covered by length and a half, two in front of Galapan Deschamps as Franklin of Port swaps a place with any second now. The final ditch, three fences from the finish, and it's the big dog and Statler matching strides. Kemboy half a length back on the inside, jumping up to the trio was Fury Road, a length and a half back to Galapan Deschamps as they turn towards the second last. It's the big dog, Statler and Fury Road, the three abreast, Galapan Deschamps moving a fourth on the outside of Kemboy. The big dog is down, slightly hampered any second now. It's Fury Road to the home turn with moving off in pursuit, Galapan Deschamps, then Statler, Kemboy any second now, and Frank go to port as they straighten one fence left to jump and the Paddy Pad Irish Gold Cup and it's Fury Road from Galapan Deschamps in the centre Statler's red cap isn't out of it on the far side the final fence coming up Fury Road and Galapan Deschamps Fury Road at an awkward landing and it's Galapan Deschamps in front from Fury Road over on the far side Statler's in third 150 yards to go and it's Galapan Deschamps Taking it to another level in the Paddy Power Irish Gold Cup. A 12th for Willie Mullins, second is Statler. Well, Tan End has just won the Paddy Power Irish Gold Cup on Galapin de Chom. And I reckon that you, personally, after this day so far, probably needed that. Yeah, uh, delighted with him, but uh, he didn't know what was ever happening earlier in the day. So uh, that's the glory of riding for Willie that uh, you always have a chance of riding a winner. It's true. Now, loads of positives to take from him there, particularly, I thought, with how he dealt with Fury Road coming across him at the last. I'm not sure he'd have jumped so well this time last year, but he's now looks like he's a different model. I suppose I'm still learning what this Gallop in the Champs is like yeah. too, you know what I mean? Last year he was brilliant and, and exuberant, but he's uh, matured a lot and uh, was there any time I wanted him. But, um, yeah, we're learning about him and what he'd done at the last with the intimidation he was getting and what he'd done from there to the line impressed me. Yeah, ditto. And it's that he's lost that exuberance but he hasn't lost his talent. Yeah, and he had, like it's in there when you want it, which yeah. it, which is brilliant. He's he's um, he's doing things the right way around now. Um, and look as a novice he was doing no wrong either bar the one day in Chetland, but um, the route he's going down, what he's showing us now is is, is proper and mature racehorse. It must fill you with more confidence for the Gold Cup. I know that you don't find out about three mile, two and a half until you're there and actually at it, but it, you must be more confident now. Yeah, exactly. Um, you don't know till you try, but he hasn't done himself any harm there, that's for sure. Okay. I'm going to take you through the previous three races. I apologise. Let's start with Appreciate It. In a massively hot Irish Arkle, what did you think? Rode an extremely good race, and um, yeah, uh, we just weren't good enough on the day, I thought. And do you think he might need to go up and trip? It's a, definitely an option for him, yeah. yeah okay. Did he jump all right? Yeah, but I was just going so hard um, that I needed to jump everything. Um, I thought he jumped jumped well, but he was probably a little slow away from his fences because he was flat to the boards at them. Okay, they're the worst they want. one was Lossy Mouth, obviously. Let's 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 start with the negative. Move on to the positive. What happened? Because that's a, that was a bit of mess up of communications between you and Jack Foley. What went on? Just he, yeah, it was it was a mix up, uh, mix up as in race riding and the race didn't go our way. Lost a lot of ground, but uh, she done very well to get as close to a good mare in front of her. She really did though, didn't she? I mean, she showed she has heart as well as ability to get that close. Exactly, exactly. Uh, a lot of positives. Disappointing with the result, but a lot of positives taken. Okay, and Kay de Parry? Uh, Travelled okay and stopped too quickly. We'll have to find out why. Yeah. Rich was saying that you were thinking he's just a bit weak and maybe he needs a bit more big, time. Big immature horse, yeah, we're hoping that is, but we'll get him checked out on you. Paul, thank you very much for all of your extensive thoughts. Congratulations, Gallop into Shaw. Cheers, thanks very much. Thank you. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.